Y'all know I had to do a video on this. Y'all know I had to. Argentina just got its libertarian president. We've talked about Javier a little bit. Make no mistake, this man's a libertarian as far as what he advocates and what he campaigned on. Not like a little lib- like libertarian, like just paying lip service, trying to like sneak his way in. This man led with libertarianism. And he repped it unapologetically. In our lifetimes, this, this is probably the only libertarian leader of a country that we had. Okay. Big shout out to all the Argentinians out there. I got longtime fans that have been, uh, you know, definitely know me back when that's all I really did for a while. There was political commentary. Well, uh, and music and stuff. Got met up with a lot of Argentinian uh, and South American libertarians. Shout out to y'all because I know y'all are stoked right now. But America's America should be ashamed of them damn selves because you didn't get the libertarian. In fact, anytime there is a candidate that runs for like president that like leads with their libertarianism, you best believe there's going to be some chicken shit conservatives, right? Who claim to value liberty so much that will instead say that this is just not realistic. And then you you say, because it's not realistic, we have to go with some socialism light. (laughs) Argent. Argentina got a libertarian president before you did. That should let you know culturally you got a lot of you got a lot to do. Now look, I hope this man, well, the country succeeds. He follows through with his libertarian principles. Hopefully the CIA doesn't do CIA things. We know those types of shenanigans. But America should be ashamed of themselves. Best believe every time I, y- y'all know I've been covering this stuff for a, for a very long time. You didn't want Ron Paul twice. You had an opportunity instead. You wanted fuck John McCain and Mitt Romney. It's more realistic, right? It's just it's more realistic, right? It's more digestible, right? You need someone a little more moderate. Meanwhile, the country continues to move further to leftism. And you always make a concession. Leftists make no concessions. And you always making concessions with economic leftists. And then you can see what's going on with the money situation right now. And everybody's like, oh, what happened? My dollar doesn't go as far as it once did. I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, treasury in combination with the Federal Reserve uh, in combination with your recklessly spending Congress folk and a Maybe that got something to do with it. Maybe it's time to try a little liberty. Try not to get so frustrated. He's shout out Argentina. I'm gonna end on that note. Shout out Argentina.